When nine-year-old Ronnie Howard was cast to play the son of a widower in the courtship of Eddie's father, he was also playing the son of a widowed dad on TV's Andy Griffith show. Between that hit television series and movie appearances, Ronnie Howard became one of the most visible child stars of the 1960s. Unlike so many other child stars, his talent translated to adult roles, and he continued to act as an adult in another classic television series, Happy Days, as well as movies like American Graffiti. And for the one or two of you who don't know, Ron Howard is now one of the most successful filmmakers working today, directing hits like Backdraft, The Da Vinci Code, last year's thrilling Rush, and the 2001 Oscar-winning drama, A Beautiful Mind. No one's asking me, but my favorite Ron Howard movie is the massively underrated Michael Keaton film, The Paper, a truly great journalism movie tracking 24 hours in the life of a New York tabloid paper. Up next, we continue our annual Father's Day tribute to dads on film with Spencer Tracy trying to give his daughter away in marriage without giving away his sanity at the same time. Today on Turner Classic Movies, an overwhelmed Spencer Tracy walks down the aisle as the father of the bride. Then Gregory Peck's son comes of age thanks to the yearling. And Paul Winfield wants his boy to beat the life laid out for him in Sounder.